but the idea of being a, a movie star, being famous, that's just, that's not real. So you have a big birthday coming up, right? So yeah. What do you feel about that? Are you excited? Do you get nostalgic? What no, I mean, uh, um, it's it's uh, what it is. It, it, um, what can you do? It's, uh, <laughs> you can <laughs> that's life. <laughs> you can celebrate. Are you going to celebrate? I am celebrating. Oh, yeah. You are? Okay, good. You know, I, I don't, it, I'll be nervous about it, but at the same time, it's a nice thing. So I like birthdays. Does that make you think about your legacy? Do you think back sometimes? No, I, I well, you, of course, you always think about everything, but I'm, I'm thinking forward and you got to, you know, be careful about, not careful, more, um, more concerned about things that you do in the future so you don't waste any time. Oh. You know. When, when you think back now, you, you've been in this business for like 60 years. Or yeah, something. over 60. Well, you said, yeah, so, 60, 60, exactly. So when you started, what was your plan? Do you remember that? Did you think, oh, I want to be a big star? Or were you like, okay, I just want to act? Did you have like a plan? Well, when, yeah, I mean, you just, I wanted to act. And just, so I, um, and once you really get into acting, you know, the idea of being a, a movie star, being famous, that's just, that's not real. Once you get into it, you're just into each thing as it goes. So the other stuff you never think about. And uh, for me, I think of how lucky I am. Um, because there are many people out there who are terrific, wonderful actors who don't get recognition. So I'm very lucky. So the, the fame part, has that ever, ever like bothered you? Mm -hmm. or do you? Are you comfortable with like being a very recognizable face? No, I'm okay. Cause I, a lot of times I don't get recognized, believe it or not. Really? Oh, wow. Especially getting older, you know, <laughs> I mean, cause I see friends of mine or people who are well known uh, and uh, they, they've gotten older. They look different, change. You know, just do a double take whether you recognize it. So that's what people, they don't, they're not looking to see in the street. They don't even, you know, especially with the mask these days and everything. That's a good, that's a good cover up though, wearing the mask. Yeah. So I saw you guys were together in The Irishman as well. Yeah, yes. There you have also some gangster faces, but in this movie you call it the resting bitch face. Is that, is that, <laughs> same is that the same, same thing? thing? It's the same is thing, it? just different, different title. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's basically a mean kind of look and uh, that, that kind of... My whole life people have said, man, you look angry really? when, I'm, when I'm not like smiling or my, my resting face looks very intimidating. So that's where, and my father's does too, so that's where the bitch face came from. So you didn't learn any gangster looks from Mr. Mm, <laughs> no, he's got his own looks going on yeah. over there. <laughs> You've got a very particular one, though. Could you relate to these kind of like crazy family gatherings? I mean, you have six children and three grandchildren. Seven now. Seven? Yeah, just had a baby, yeah. Are you a good cook, though? Is no, I, I, I only make a good cup of coffee that I consider good. <laughs> So I'm, That's I'm the only limited. Thing you can make? That's it. I'm. I wish I did, but well, I don't. you have restaurants. Yeah, I, I appreciate good food. Okay. That I can tell you. I just mean, for I know. Else to make it. Huh? Yeah, just <laughs> to make it is another story. <laughs> How important are you Italian roots? You guys I'm I'm I I'm like a quarter Italian. My my grandfather um, is all Italian. My grandmother was all Irish, and on my mother's side, I'm Dutch, French, and a little German. Did your mom speak Italian too? No, you? no, I, I just learned it on my own. You did? Because you speak pretty good. I speak okay, yeah. Yeah. To me, it sounds perfect. What about you? Do you, you have Italian roots too? So my father is from Sicily. He came here when he was 15 years old. My mother is Italian. So we're like 100% Italian. And, and, it, and the Italian culture was really prevalent growing up. You know, going over to grandma's house on Sunday at 3 o'clock for you know, dinner, uh, uh, you know, going to Italy with my father um, 12 years ago and our pilgrimage to his hometown. So, you know, the culture and, uh, and, and him being an immigrant has always been really prevalent in my comedy. And I just wanted to kind of tell an immigrant story here of a, of a, of a man who came to the United States for a better life for his family and uh, meets this 
woman from a different cut of cloth and how those two families kind of mesh together. Did you first meet during the Irishman? Yeah. Yeah. So I met him during the Irishman. Then he came to my show at Radio City Music Hall. And then next time we got together was on this movie. So, yeah, I was just telling people we didn't have like a personal relationship. I wasn't calling him on a Saturday going, what are you doing, Bob? How's it going? <laughs> you know, it was none of that. It was, uh, you know, it, it was more of a professional relationship that blossomed into, you know, a friendship over the, over the course of uh, making the movie. You know, I just felt like he was really, really... It was like an, an intensive acting class for me. I picked up a lot just watching him and how he moves and how he works and, and what he does on film. So it was nice to be around that uh, for me, absorb that for projects in the future. Of course. Mm -hmm. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.